It's your boy, DK, Killer Chronic. It's the show 617. I'm here with your man, Chopper. In the you, building. It's part of my favorite segment called Who That Is? Who That Is? Who That Is? Uh, my man, Chopper, why don't you bless us with how you got your name? Well, first, back in the day when I was in high school, you know, my boys used to call me Chopper because I used to do beats and they always wanted to hear beats. And at the time, there was an MCL or whatever, his name was Chopper, but I reinvented the name Chopper the Beatbox and I, so that's what they want. They want beats and I give it to them. Oh. Okay. Uh, why don't you tell us how old you are and how long you've been doing this? I'm 21 now. I've been beatboxing ever since I can remember, probably seven or eight years old. I'm just mimicking sounds, you know what I'm saying, copying people, copying people's movements. You know, people used to freestyle off my beats. And in high school, I used to rhyme with my boys back in the day, you know. Um, why don't you tell us how you got into this and build a craft out of it? It's not like it's something where cats are going to school and then you got somebody teaching you to, yeah. to uh, you know? Yeah, it definitely got influenced a lot back in the day with my pops. He, you know, he loved hip-hop, so I grew up listening to Dougie Fresh, Biz Maki, and the Fat Boys, and those were the first original cats, so okay. those, are my, those are like top influences right there. Um, name some, so those are your inspirations. You got any other, some more recent inspirations? Yeah, some definitely. Some still keep on the on the radar nowadays? Definitely. Uh, Razel, of course, of the course. Godfather of Noise. You know, he's still number one in my books. You know, you got Kenny Muhammad. Oh, yeah. You got, that um, dude was sick. You got people from the UK, man, Killer Keller. Nice. And my boy from New York is pretty nice, too. My boy, Anointed S. Shout out to Anointed S. Okay. Prince of Beatbox. Definitely. Now, uh, you down with a crew? Um, yeah, I'm down with DSC, Danger Styles Crew. B I didn't even know that. <laughs> you learn something new every day. There you go. That's my crew. They're throwing a jam right now. Mass, called Mass Destruction, and battle's about to go on today. Oh, yeah, who you taking on today? Man, Dookie from Connecticut. The name says it himself. The name says it all, baby. Dookie. <laughs> you all what your mom named you. <laughs> You're going to see it go down. You're going to see it go down inside. You're going to film it, too. Why don't you uh, give us a little uh, history on the crew? Well, it started back in uh, probably like three years ago. I finally got back in the b-boy scene. Like, I really didn't dedicate my, my all to it because, you know, I do the beatbox thing more. But it's always good to have other other stuff behind. You know, I'm not just a beatbox. I'm a performer. I dance. I b-boy. I pop. I do it all. So, I represent. All right. Describe your style a little bit. If there was, I'd say intricate. My style is intricate. Like you listen to my beats, they have so much patterns to them. They like tell a story. My beats tell stories. That's how I like to say. It. Like I, I do covers, but I also do original beats. That's where, it's, that's where people can know your stuff's hot. Anybody can do. Can you do? Ah, yeah. I mean okay okay now uh, name some accomplishments accomplishments that I have already accomplished yes well shows that shows is like the most important thing to me I love doing shows name some big shows that you you uh, felt that uh, you were uh, happy that you taking a part of I did uh, a show with Funk Phenomenon at the okay. uh, beginning of this year I did it in Providence at a basketball game a halftime show that was pretty big in front of 15,000 people that was the most people I performed in front of. It was unbelievable. I'm trying to do some more of those right there. Shout out to Funk too. Alright. Name some uh, obstacles. You know what I mean? It's not easy being the only guy. I mean, there must have been times where you just felt like you just couldn't carry on. Ain't nobody else Man, cycling with you, right? It's still like that to this day. I mean, sometimes I want to give up, but I'm like, nope, never giving up. I ain't going to stop beatboxing talking about probably 80 in my grave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so That's what's up. Right, my man. Um, cut it. Killing through the questions too. So, how is like practicing for beatboxing? Like, you know what I mean? Is it something you go to like a b-boy siphon? You sit to the side or? Nah, it's, it's a little something you just doing at night or you just you <laughs> sitting on the can dropping the dookie and just. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, I don't really call it practice. I call it the zone. I get in the zone, I practice. I mean, I go for hours and not even know it. 
I mean, sometimes I'll be in the shower just practicing. I forgot I, I forgot to wash my body. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> nah, but I, I, I always practice every day. Every day, walking down the street, whether it's... Man, every day I practice. Practice is nothing for me. So. Alright, man. If cats want to reach you, how are they going to get in contact with you? You get my MySpace. Everybody got MySpace. Spell it out, please. Friend request me. www.myspace.com forward slash Chopper the Beatboxer. C-H-O-P-P-A-T-H-A-B-E-A-T-B-O-X-A. Chopper the Beatboxer. Hit me up. Friend request me. Alright. And is there any type of material you got out right now for these cats? That's why they have to see me. That's why they have to come to my shows. I got new material, but I can't let it out right now. <laughs> All right? So, so that's come see me. Man. Come, come see me. Get the network out. That's a wrap, baby. Ow.